Ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great with another practical Minecraft tutorial. And if you look, I am not in the standard super flat desert that I usually do these in. I am in a standard generated world. Because we are going to be building an automatic farm for flowers today. And what better place to do one than in a flower forest? Alright, so here we go. We are in a flower forest that is rather close to spawn and that is why I wanted to start over at the spawn. This seed and the coordinates for the rather close flower forest are in the description below in case you want to build something there. But let's turn this farm on and, and see what's going on. So what we're going to have is a clock that runs and it occasionally shoots a dispenser with bone meal that grows grass and flowers on this set of grass blocks here and then soon after that a water source comes in and breaks all the grass and flowers and pushes them towards hoppers that are at the other end okay now the the clock also turns off that water source so that the water is not sitting on top of the grass blocks for too long because if it did the grass blocks would turn back into dirt okay so now the flowers and seeds are going to be collecting in this double chest here um, and there we go it's a pretty simple design not much to it and we're gonna build one uh, I do need to make a note that this part of the farm right here the uh, clock and the dispensers and all that that comes out of an Azumavoid video I saw where he went to a flower forest and built some of these. Um, the only difference here is that he had a button to make a one tick pulse and this has a switch that will turn on the farm with a one tick pulse but also turn it off reliably. So what we'll do is we'll turn it off here and you note that the water has all gone so it's not going to leave the farm in a potentially invalid state and leave that water running because otherwise again those grass blocks would turn into dirt eventually so we don't want that um, and that's what this particular change is about right here the the uh, switch so enough about this farm let's go build one all right so I have provided this save file as a download in the description below um, it will bring you in at the spawn point that we just came into but uh, I, I've left this particular area open for you so that you can follow along if you wish. All the materials you're going to need are in this chest, minus the book and quill. Okay, so let's just get some of these. Well, we're going to get all the ones that we need for the time being. Make sure we get them in a decent order here. Okay, and we'll just start stocking up here and I'm only going to get one set of bone meal just for the purpose of demonstration so um, you're you're gonna need to start off with an 11 wide by 9 deep by 6 high space okay and I've got that marked out this line of colored wool right here is not within the farm dimensions um, but this one is okay so just keep that in mind ground floor is going to be at that cyan block right there but uh, so we're building from the bottom up okay so we're going to get started with a four by four square that's not it okay and then on each corner we're going to put another solid block and then facing out from this one because this, our switch is going to go on this block we're going to put repeaters on the full tick okay going all the way around and that sets up our clock okay with the correct timings for what we need to do okay alright so that is the clock portion done let's add stuff to the clock so we can make it useful so we're gonna put a dispenser make sure it's a dispenser facing up and then on this one piece of redstone dust and another piece of redstone dust. Alright, 
Next up, we need two half slabs, and we're going to be pulling current from the uh, clock here up onto here. So, so that is um, most of the the bottom part done. Let's build out the switch. Okay, so we're going to take the solid block, come out one, two three knock those out and then we'll take sticky piston which is not yeah there we go we'll take that we want to make sure it's facing this way so that when it extends it's going to pick up that block okay and we're done with the sticky piston and we're going to take a dropper and we're done with the dispenser for now so we can get that in all right on that same solid block, we're going to take a dropper facing towards us, and then we're going to take a hopper and face it back into that dropper. And in the dropper, we're just going to put one item, okay? And now, um, off of this block that's under under the one that's sticking above the clock, we we'll come out with some half slabs. Uh, you could use solid blocks, I guess. I just use these so that they don't interfere with anything. And we're going to take a redstone comparator coming out of that hopper. And then a redstone repeater, no ticks. Piece of redstone dust. And a redstone repeater, no ticks. So what's going to happen is when the switch that we now place... Um, turns on it's going to fire the item from this dropper into this hopper and that is going to send a pulse out of this comparator we strengthen it to one tick and then send it back into this block and that should get things started so we can take a look right now there we go and then we'll just turn this off because we don't need that running um, one note that you may decide to do um, I just tend to start I've started putting furnaces on top of any exposed hoppers that don't need to be collecting anything to help reduce any potential lag so uh, just keep that in mind all right next up we need to build the flower collection area and so we're gonna go directly on top of this dispenser go up one and then we're gonna go out three on this side and three on this side and two on this side hey look at the rain and two on this side it doesn't actually matter in this case so we will leave the rain as is so we're going to fill out the flower collection or flower growing area rather okay all right so that is it let's come out one just so we can get our collection area done as well. So we'll need chests, just two of them. Hold down shift, there we go. All right, and into the back of that chest, we're gonna face two hoppers. And then all along the flower growing area, these uh, grass blocks here, we're going to put hoppers, okay? Should be seven hoppers in total and that is it for that portion okay now we need to make sure we put the dispenser for the water in the right spot so that's what we'll do right now come back a little bit and again and then we'll knock out that block knock out that block okay and we need that dispenser done with the chest dispenser there all right and let's fill in the wall, okay? So just a solid block for the most part of your choice. We're gonna come around here because we need to send a signal up. All right. And then we will come around and just fill it in until we get to the chest. We've got something special for the chest we gotta do because we still need to open it, right? So just put a couple of stairs and then we'll continue filling this in. No problem. Okay. Um, also, I would suggest filling this in 
to a height of 2 above the platform and that just makes sure that no drops are going to escape um, out of the top because I've seen that happen sometimes in, in the testing of this so, so we'll just fill this in completely and that is the main platform done alright next up we need to hook up the top dispenser and then get it ready okay and that's pretty simple like I said we need to bring a signal off of here and that's why we have that half slab there that lets the signal jump up through um, doesn't cut the signal and uh, we'll bring a piece of redstone dust and a redstone repeater facing into that block and when that gets powered it will power this uh, dispenser as well and so we'll put in a bucket of water and let's have a go okay should be all done oh I missed one thing bone meal alright let's see what's happening okay so here's something to note you notice that tulips are growing here and they were not growing in the demo one and that's why I wanted to build this over here um, to show you that in the flower forest it appears that flower types are block or location specific um, uh, that is not necessarily the case in other biomes but in the flower forest with all the different types of flowers that are available um, you do see that okay so this particular area can grow tulips so what you would want to do is set up these in multiple areas maybe maybe do a test bone meal around find the flowers that you want and then build one of these but that is it for the farm let's take a look at the book and quill okay um, I have a tendency to forget things in tutorials so uh, so yeah um, there's the dimensions the seed and th this flower forest location are going to be in the description below copied it from Azumavoid. I will link his video in the description. Um, save files in the description. Alright, if you enjoyed, um, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, it helps me out. If you really enjoyed, feel free to subscribe and leave comments, questions, suggestions below. I look forward to hearing from you and I do read them and I try to respond if it's required. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at, at MC Soap the Great. And that is it. You know what? We're going to sign this. Call it Soaps Notes. And that will be available as well. So, done. All right. That is the farm done. And uh, thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye bye.